What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at a Walmart brand screen protector. It's called Protect On, and this is for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. And if you guys have a screen protector that you'd like me to review, definitely let me know in the comments below. So I will be putting a link in the description for this product in case you guys want to pick it up yourself. I'll be going over the full installation and by the end of the video I'm going to let you know whether or not I recommend the screen protector for you. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we get an installation guide, one screen protector, a squeegee, and an installation packet. Or they give you this really nice big cleaning cloth. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you take your installation tray, make sure the top is towards the camera on your phone, and just kind of press it over your phone. Just like that. Then take your screen protector. We're going to very carefully peel off the back. Make sure it doesn't peel off the screen protector, kind of like this other one we did earlier. Very carefully try to peel this off without taking the screen protector with it. I absolutely hate this. It just doesn't want to come off. Then you want to line up these little guide holes with the guides on the installation guide. Just like that. So the screen protector is not actually touching the screen yet. Then you want to take your squeegee. We're going to press down in the middle and squeegee up to the top. Then turn around and do the same thing. Squeegee from the middle down back to the bottom. And then kind of squeegee out to the sides. And then what I would do is take your squeegee, kind of put it in the back here, lift up a little bit on these guides just so they release and then press down again, just like that. And then we'll do the same thing for the top here because the screen protector can't actually go all the way down until these are released. I don't know why they made it like this. God, these sides look horrible. Okay, so now very carefully lift up on the sticker here. Then take your squeegee and try to squeegee the best you can down to the sides. Turn it around and do the same thing for the other side. Then we're going to press our phone through the bottom, just like that. And then try to squeegee out any bubbles you might see along the edges. So unfortunately, I do see a lot of bubbles on the sides. You can see that all along the edge here. These edges just do not go down gracefully. It's one of the worst parts. That's why I hate curved screens. What do you guys think about curved screens? Do you want them or would you rather the screen be flat like every other phone? Test out our S Pen. There is a lot of resistance on the S Pen because it is kind of like that rubbery type of material. The S Pen does, does work fine, but again, there's going to be a lot of resistance, a lot more than a regular glass would have. So now let's see if there's any marks on the screen from the S Pen. It doesn't look like there is, so that's definitely a plus. Looking pretty good. Let's test it out in our case. So it looks like there is a gap on the bottom, and there's a slight gap along the top and on the sides it looks like it comes right up to the the sides of the case so there may be some peeling over time but i don't see any right now but it's just it's got those bubbles along the edge not really a fan of that and it's got like i said it's got that kind of that, that grippy feel to it i prefer glass so we'll re-register our fingerprints So it seems to register the fingerprints just fine. Let's test them out. Yeah, fingerprints working perfectly fine. Not bad. It is crystal clear, so you can see very easily. Touch 
working perfectly fine, no issues there whatsoever. So not a horrible screen protector, but these, the bubbles on the side is what concern me. I, I just don't understand why they did that. It's, it's like the middle is perfect, and then when you try to do the edges, it's just bubble city. And as far as the screen protector picking up fingerprints, it seems to pick up some fingerprints, but you can just easily wipe those away. No problems there. So the screen protector is not horrible. The installation could definitely be better. As far as touch goes, touch is fine. Fingerprint sensor works fine. S Pen works well, except for that super grippy feel. I don't know if you guys would like that. I personally don't like it to be that grippy. Um, and then I don't really care for these bubbles. So I'm kind of on the fence about this screen protector because there's there's some good things going for it. And then there's some things I don't like. One mainly are these, these bubbles on the edge are just, they're horrible. So I would probably tell you to stay away from this one. There's definitely better on the market and I'm gonna give this one a thumbs down. So that's pretty much it for the Walmart Protect On brand. I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and hit that little notification bell to let you know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.